Is that the whole? It's a big burbot. It's a it's a pretty nice burbot, I think. Can't really see. It looked pretty big. Okay, I see him in the hole. Kind of. It's a it's a big freaking burbot. It's a big freaking burbot. This is a big one. This is a big one. This is a big one. Come on. This is a freaking pig. This is a freaking giant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's up guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. Today we got myself and we got Brendor. We also might be having another buddy come through later. I'm not 100% sure yet though. But today, we are pretty much hanging out in the hard-sided Big Bite Fish House, eating not that good of food, eating some brats, and uh, hopefully we're gonna be catching some eel pout today. If you guys haven't heard of eel pout, there's a lot of other names for them. Uh, ling cod, burbot, eel pout, leopard snake. There's all kinds of different names for them, but yeah, we're gonna be fishing for those today. So yeah, I'm gonna... Stop blabbing. I think for this video, we're just gonna get right into right into burbot fishing. So stay tuned. Uh, the sun's almost down. Hopefully, we can get some burbots today. Yo! Yo, dog! Yo, dog! How's it going? Show up. Game to Mr. Christian. Slam some boat today. Are you gonna slam with them? <laughs> That's Brandon's cousin, Christian. The lights are coming off. I don't know if I mentioned this. No, we can keep these ones on. I'm gonna keep like this one on. You can keep that one on. But this the the main lights are staying off. I think that I think it spooks them. No way, that was a big suspender. Pound bottom, Christian. Pound and bottom. No way. No way, Christian. No way. No way. Brennan. Camera. No way. Christian's got his first bird. Okay, let him get out the hole already. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Just let him go. Let him go. What did I say about the healing runs? <laughs> did I say something about that? Just doing oh, some burn baby. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. Christian's first bear bit ever. Let's get some lights on in here. We're getting another battery. All right, we're back, people. Okay, he's at the hole, so chill a little bit. Chill a little bit. Okay, keep your, keep your attention. Oh my God, it's a good one. It's a big burb. Keep your attention. Keep it tight. Keep that tight. Here we go. Hold on, don't pull up too more, too much more. I'm not touching anything. <laughs> You're not touching it? I don't know. Come on, buddy. You're Give touching me your it. I got him. It's a good one. <laughs> it's a good one. Get to that. <laughs> All you have to do is put your hand under here. Cradle it. No. Cradle it. Like, cradle it like a little ball of joy. Because then I gotta let go of its mouth. Look at these. <laughs> put your tongue on that one. No. <laughs> All right, cradle it, cradle it like a baby. Yep. Oh, it's slime time. <laughs> slime time. So cradle it. Just go like this. Go like this. Like the ball. We gotta get a, a graceful release on this little buddy. <laughs> All right. Let's gently, gently put him on the ground right here. Oh, hey, I wanna see him crawl. You wanna see him crawl? <laughs> oh, <that's> see? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna, that's probably, I'm gonna say, uh, that's a uh, eight pounder. We're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> there you go. Oh <laughs> Dude, your first bird bit. Word. That's crazy. <laughs> Brandon. That got is pretty this. sick. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. All right, guys, we're marking fish. That was freaking awesome. Let's put this back on the tripod, try to catch another one. Oh, marking, marking. No way, no way, yes. Yes, guys, we got another one. Let's get the light down there. He's not ready. He's not ready. It's nice that we got the graph in this in this hole because we can kind of see where his fish is. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, like this is cool. I think this is your PB bird. He's definitely over here. He's like, oh, oh it's, it's a, a good one. Dude. It's a good one. Okay, just chill a little bit. I am. Not making that mistake, guys. I got him. That's a good one. It's about the same, as, about the same as Christian's, just a freaking fighter, yes. though. 
Once again, on the freaking T-Flasher. They love this thing. That's unreal. Here, man. Heck yes, guys. Let me get this light kind of over here. That is another awesome burb. He's got a love mark over here. Let me see this side of him. Right here. Look at that big black mark. That's it's awesome. There's one down here, too. There's one down there, there, too. Yeah, that's a nice burb. These are just the coolest fish ever. Leopard fish, like I said, what do you think, Brandon? Dude, this is the best fight I've had all winter, by far. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, these things are great. They just go on peeling around. Alright, dude, we gotta, we gotta put them back. Let's get some more. We're gonna get them good tonight, I think. Yeah, I'll help you here a little bit. Just drop. Okay, that was kind of... Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Keep your face down there. Birds don't like to go home. They like to roam in the fish houses. <laughs> oh, we're marking. We're marking. He's gonna cream you. We're marking. He's gonna cream you. We're marking. No, I think he's gonna cream you. No, he's creaming you. No, he's gone. I think he's going to Christian. Is that yeah. Christian? Yeah? Oh, Christian's hooked up. Christian's hooked up. Christian's hooked up again. Oh my god. I think I was almost. I think. Did you see my rod banging? I wasn't looking at your rod. I was looking at the ground. Christian, if it wants to take line, let it. I think Christian. Christian has me. Christian has me. That's why my rod was banging. So. I'm gonna have you, we have some technical difficulties going on. Just hold that, let the drag go. Let me fix this camera quick. He's got this one too. Oh my God, flip bales, flip the bales. He's got the dead stick, he's got the big rod. I, I don't know what's going on, talk to me. I'm good. Yeah. Did you forget? <laughs> feel like a good end? Does it feel good? Well, that's what you were asking. It's a good end. Yeah, it stays Let's up. Let's do another big one. Another big one, folks. Folks at home. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Gross. We got him. We're gonna, this is a mess, guys. We're gonna have to clean this up a little bit. Look at that, guys. That is a blondie. That is a blonde burbot. Here. Gotta get hold? Yep. There you go. She's a greaser. <laughs> Where's the scale? Alright, guys, we can't find the scale, and we just have a, we have a, we have a pile of mess over here. Hayes just got here. Hey, why don't you tell the people about these beautiful uh, about these beautiful fish quick. Explain the burbot. So the burbot is an unknown species that we just found out about in the last couple of years now. Um, it's, a, it's a cool fish. They're very, um, it's a time of year type of thing, you know. So like this is the time of year you catch them towards the end of the walleye season. I think the walleye season just closed. They get more active and go to, oops, to spawn with the big bellies like this. But um, no one knows a whole lot about them, but uh, big heavy jigs and you know, the same spot you'd fish walleyes is uh, where these burbot hang around. And uh, all right, get a graceful release on them. Yeah, this is like a, a beautiful fish. Oh, it's never super graceful with these. But oh, oh. wow, so nice to step in the house and where he's got a burbot. Unbelievable. There's two ways to eel pop fish. Number one is to use a graph and watch the fish come in. Number two is to not use graph at all. I don't use a graph. Uh, use a one ounce jig, whatever it is. You know, it could be your uh, your fireball jig that you'd use for uh, for walleyes on the rainy river, or a, a big spoon like Brandon's rocking a big spoon there. Um, really doesn't matter. You just you know, for me, it's a simple six inch lift, then drop. A six inch lift, then drop. Six inch lift, then drop. A six inch lift, then drop. You get it? A six inch lift, then drop. I, I go. I, I normally go about three inches. Murray goes three inches. Sometimes I just make that jig stand up. I go as far as this is, whatever this is. Oh, yeah. Do like two inches. I don't like to give the girls three inches. <laughs> I give them seven. Oh, you're really just generous. Seven whole inches. And then when you feel a fish, it's just like a Lindy rig. Open the pail and let them, <laughs> let them eat. Three line. You got to use the bait clicker. Yep. Let her run, let oh her yeah, we got school. we got some more homies in here. We forgot Cole, up, boys? Cole Butler. <laughs> Don't be afraid to Chase. let him eat it out of the mud. Outdoors or something? Chase no. outdoors. Chasing, no. chasing outdoors. Yep. Chasing them. <laughs> chasing the burbs. Is Burb that all he's? Burbeteering. Mm -mm. 
No, there's more? There's more. We're just out here with Murray, just, you know, making bangers as usual. So if you aren't tuned in, get tuned in. Like this video and subscribe. And your boy Hayes is going to be coming on the scene soon, so we'll look out. Until the meantime, Hayes Baldwin Guide Service. Yeah. Come Lincoln Bio. Look at Trish. Swipe up. I won't take a yield pot fishing. Did you want a close-up shot of the spoon? No. Focus it all. Will this thing focus? No. Will this thing focus on the jig? Focus, focus, coming to focus. Okay. Focus, focus, How focus. How bad is that thing spinning? Drop all right, so water for a this is a, Gotta get a barrel so I'm on pout candy, Lucky Joel Lures out of Brainerd, Minnesota. This is a half ounce. I prefer smaller pout spoons as opposed to some guys using basically an ounce and five eighths, and it's like, buddy, your rod's this loaded when you're jigging. Like, how would you even? I mean, that's come a on. Fish and more rod. That's perfect for the pout. The fish and more rod. You can see a little bit of load on the tip there. This is the rod you're gonna want. Two B ice. Murray's got his name on it, so buy it. You know what I mean? Guys, we are back. You probably can't see me, but Hayes and Chase left, and it's just me, Christian, and Brandon in the fish house. Yeah, dude! Late night burbs! Oh, okay, it's actually pretty small, yeah. Chill, 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 chill. Look at that one, guys. We're gonna get this one back kinda quick, but. Ooh, another cool little burbage. Turn where she wants. Turn where she wants. Are you serious, dude? Are you serious? You are in the hot hole, Christian! Oh it's my bigger. god! It's bigger. it's bigger? Is there another one down there right now? I didn't grab that one either. You didn't grab it, it just whacked it? It just whacked it. Okay, I'm gonna come help you. Oh my god, is that the hole? Oh, there she goes. There she's going again. Is that a good one? There she's going. <laughs> dude, she's you're gone. on him, dude. Holy smosh! <laughs> you're on Just the when he's. When he's going, just don't even reel, just let him go. This thing is just shooting away. <laughs> oh, what? You got it. He's got me? Yeah, he's got me again. God dang it. I, got like two I should have reeled like up. That. Unreal, man. <laughs> Dear Christian. I think it's awesome. His first time ever catch one, he's just greasing them. It's a good one. It's this bigger. Oh, this is a smokes. fatty. That's ugly. This is a big fatty. Oh yeah, dude, this one's a really dark one. <laughs> we got him. We got him. <laughs> this one's a big dark one. Uh, okay, so my dude, this is my a theory was one. just gotta leave. I haven't see. been jigging him. Huh? I just left. Let I left. I just left it alone. Hold on, I'm trying to get the hook up. I haven't been. I I stopped jigging for a while. And that We're was my just holding them on bottom. Just holding it on bottom, bottom and then like a couple inches above bottom. And then oh like, and then like my occasionally god, guys, this I'll is a big one. This is a big, beautiful, oh, dark one. <laughs> Holy buckets. Here, hold them. Holy buckets. Okay, this one is a little smaller than I thought, but that is still a freaking awesome burb. 6.63 pounds. No, that's your official PB because it's official. weighed. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead get a graceful Ooh, release once again. We're a little tangled, so I'm gonna let this one go in this hole. Try to be as graceful as we can. Yeah, it doesn't always work out with the burbot. They like to curl up in a ball. Heck yeah, dude! Oh my god! Hey, dog. Thanks for gracing us with your presence. We'll see you later, bro. The pout whisperer. I can't believe that. That's yes, so sir. cool. <laughs> I like, guess not even pout season yet, and the kid catches four. You better uh, believe I mean, him. I'm Somebody taking your hole. I guess. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm taking your hole. Hey, you have, a, you have a good time with that, buddy. Yeah, have a we'll good catch one. You later. Have a good one. And then Brandon's going to drop him off at his car Bye, and grab him Taco time. Bell. Brandon's a savior. Take a bit. I'm going to try to kind of keep this light over here so that uh, once I hook up, since it's just me out here, hopefully I can go like this and you guys can kind of see me a little bit. Oh man, I'm instant. Are you serious? Are you serious? This hole is on fire. This hole is on fire, guys. Oh my god. And there he goes. There he goes. 
Oh my god. Unreal. Oh my god. Let me turn on the light quick. There we go. Light on. <laughs> Christian's on a hot hole. Oh my god. There he goes again. I'm talking I glowed up that jig. Or glue up my jig. 20 seconds. This feels pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. This feels decent. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's at the hole. It's a big burbot. It's a it's a pretty nice burbot, I think. I can't really see. He looked pretty big. Okay, I see him in the hole. Kind of. It's a it's a big freaking burbot. It's a big freaking bourbon. This is a big one. This is a big one. This is a big one. Come on. This is a freaking pig. This is a freaking giant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is huge. Holy shnikes, I gotta get a weight on this guy. Oh my god, this thing's huge. You guys, this is close to my PB Burbot. Look at how fat it is. I gotta get it unhooked. He's freaking got it right in the roof of his mouth. Okay, the hook is undone. This thing is a giant. This has gotta be 10 pounds. This is over 10 pounds. This is over 10 pounds for sure. Let go of my finger. Oh my god. This is a this is a this is ten pounds. This is a ten point five. This is the second biggest burbot I've ever caught in my life. Can you guys see that? Ten pounds. Ten point nine. Eleven pounds. Oh my god, okay, never mind. Five point five 10.56 like oh my god guys this is almost an 11 pound fish just under 11 pounds look at that thing <laughs> that is so awesome oh my god i don't even know what to do i kind of wish brandon was in here to get a pick i might try to just get a still really quick this is this is unreal let's go ahead and get this big girl back so she can do her duty guys look at this freaking burbot that is that's second by far that's my second biggest burbot i have ever caught in, and it's not even we got to get this guy back though it's been in the water for like a minute now come on bud come on graceful 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 fall right in yes yes <laughs> oh yes guys oh my god i gotta get back down there <laughs> Welcome back guys as you can maybe see from behind me. It's bright out. It is the next day Brandon ah. It's the next day guys and last night was Last night was I Yeah, words can't explain it like it was absolutely insane You guys aren't even gonna believe when I tell you what happened last night. So last night uh, me, Christian, and Brandon, we're all out here. You guys seen that? We're catching some pretty good burbs. Christian was on the hot hole last night, and then I uh, come. What time did Christian leave, Brandon? Probably about 9:30, 10. So uh, Brandon and Christian left. Brandon drove Christian to uh, Christian's car, and then Brandon went to Taco Bell for us, actually. And I don't think Brandon and Christian were gone more than one minute when I hooked into that that last freaking giant burbot. Uh, I actually weighed it on camera. I think it was like 10 pounds, five ounces, or something like that. Just a massive, massive burbot, once in a lifetime burbot. And I was full on ecstatic. And oh, I, I forgot something. Hayes and my buddy Cole were here for a little bit and their buddy. So after I caught that big, that big 10 pound burbot, I called, or I actually snapped Hayes and I was like, dude, look at this giant. So after that, Hayes and Cole came back in the shack and we all kind of, we all kind of jigged until like, 
probably 12 o'clock and then Brandon came back and he actually caught this fish here. Very, very, very respectful burbot. Very nice burbot. So after Brandon caught that one, he kind of went to bed and then Hayes and Cole came back out because they, we thought we were going to catch, like we caught eight, we were up to eight burbots at that time. So after that, after Brandon caught his burbot, he actually fell asleep. He went to bed and I kind of just, uh, I, I, I turned the cameras off. I wasn't really filming anymore. I was so excited after catching that 10 pounder. I was like, we're good. Like this is, uh, like I said, a once in a lifetime fish. So after that, I'm sitting here in the same hole. Cole's sitting here. Hayes is fishing that hole over there. And I hooked into, I, I so wish the cameras were on, but I hooked into a, a massive burbot, even bigger than the first one. I'm going to, uh, uh, like I said, I wish I had footage, but all we got was pictures, but we got, I'm pretty sure we get, we probably got pictures of it on the scale and all of that. I'll, I'm going to throw a picture up right here. Just a massive 11 pound, five ounce burbot. Just when you think the night couldn't get any better, we hook into an even bigger burbot. I honestly thought the first burbot that I caught, the 10 pounder was a lot fatter because it was shorter, but this one was just a just the whole body was just a massive, massive, massive burbot. So yeah, that's uh, that's what dreams are made of. You could pretty much say we had one of the best burbot nights we've ever had, even though we've only, even though we only caught nine, which, I mean, that's pretty good, but we've definitely had some pretty crazy nights with lots of numbers of burbots, but two 10 pounders out of the same hole, like that just doesn't happen. One more time, let's put a picture up of the 10 pounder, then let's put a picture up of the 11 pounder just amazing amazing fish I, i'm just ecstatic i'm also super ecstatic that brandon's cousin christian got one he's not uh he's not too into fishing so he doesn't fish that much and he's definitely never caught a bird before and i think he caught like four so that's a really cool experience for him brandon caught some we i don't think cole or or Hayes caught one. I've actually never seen Hayes catch a burbot, but but we're gonna get him one this year. So if you guys could like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell next to that subscribe button. I guess all that's left to say, guys, is you gotta start fishing more. We'll see you next time.